up is create your canvas, and this can be really any size you want, but today I'm gonna go with square. Then this next step isn't really necessary, but it's just nice, so I would suggest adding background color. It doesn't matter what you choose, it's really just your pick. Then what you can do is click the wrench tool, and under the add feature, click add text. This is where you're gonna include your first emoji. I think I'll do, hmm, what about the angelic one? Why not? Then I'm gonna trim the edges. I don't really have an explanation why you do this, but just trust me, it's useful. Then you can make your emoji as big or small as you want. Now you're gonna click add layer and you're gonna repeat the steps, except this time adding a different emoji. For this one, I think I'll do this. Trim the edges, as I said before, this is gonna be useful and match the size of your emoji to the size of your first emoji. So basically line them up and you're practically halfway there. Then you're gonna choose which features from the emoji on top you wanna keep and which you want to leave. I want to keep the eyes and the smile from the first one and I want to keep the angelic top from the second one. So to do this, you're gonna click the S feature and on the freehand button, any area that you select really, you can then go into the arrow button and make big or small or remove whatever you want. So I could, for example, if I want to, let's say, uh, remove this eye, theoretically, I don't really want to do this. Um, I click that, then I click the arrow, and then I move it out. And now I can see the eye from the bottom one, but I don't want to do this. Anything you don't like, you can undo with the undo button. I'll check back with you when I'm done with my emoji. See you soon. As you can see, it was super duper easy. Just a couple tips before you go. You can obviously also use the selection tool, but you may wanna choose what you wanna keep and then move it to the side and just delete everything else. Also, you may want to use the eraser. This is always useful for any things you can't get. And the blending tool is also useful for things that just don't look right. Anyways, that's it for me. If you like this video, don't forgive, <laughs> forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.